The definition of class is a set or category of things having some property or attribute in common that differentiates them by kind, type, or quality from other people or things. In other words, class is what separates extraordinary men from what you might call ordinary men. And these are men who are basically in a league of their own when it comes to how they think and how they behave. High class men are the outliers of society, which means that they think and behave in ways that are far from your typical men. Some would say that what you might call high class or high status men are cut from a different cloth. But the truth is that we are all cut from the same cloth, but some of us just know how to use it better than others. What you're about to learn are a few key traits of high class men so that you can see the difference in how they think and behave compared to the average man and apply this knowledge to your own life in whatever way fits. Starting with number one, one of the things that sets high class men apart is that they attract rather than chase. Now we all know at least one guy who is always chasing something in his life. Usually it is approval from other people, but it could also be females or many other things. And the thing with men is that we are forever classed as warriors or hunters. In other words, when we want something, we are supposed to get out there and get it. Imagine if you were in the wild and you needed to hunt animals to feed your family. What happens if you go out there and you find something like a buffalo and then you move in and you go to attack it and immediately it runs away? What happens is that you end up with no food because you chased the buffalo. The truth is that the buffalo was able to sense your desperation for food from a mile away and he most likely started running before you even took off after him. But what if you're able to flip this upside down? And instead of chasing after it, what if you were able to simply attract it? Going from chasing something to drawing it to you completely changes the whole dynamic of the situation. Now you're the prize rather than the buffalo. Many famous celebrities have mastered this trait and it allows them to get the best deals, the best roles in movies, and it's something that gives them a huge edge over the competition. So many guys give off the vibe of desperation, meaning they appear to need something far more than the person or thing needs them. And nobody wants to be around a guy who is putting out a desperate vibe. Now it doesn't matter whether it's a job, a date, a deal, or a new car, whatever it is, men with high status just don't give off a desperate vibe, which allows them to attract rather than chase. Now creating this dynamic is incredibly powerful and it's one of the most important traits of what you might call a high status man. Now next up at number two is something just as important, but it's also very, very subtle. Many men with status tend to drive luxury vehicles because it plays well with their image and the vibe that they give off. And the traits that these men have tend to attract wealth. And when you have a lot of wealth, it is pretty easy to go and buy and maintain luxury vehicles. But it's not the type of vehicle that is important here. It is how it's kept. If you look at the outside of the car this type of man is driving, you'll most likely see nothing but shine. Now, if you were to look on the inside, you would be hard pressed to find old Cheetos under the seat and other types of garbage that you'd find in most people's cars. In fact, the thing that would stand out to you most is how clean the car is, not just on the outside, but also on the inside. Find a man who has what you would call high status and go to his house and you will find more of the same. Clean car, clean house, clean man. In fact, you can tell a lot about a person simply by how clean their car is. High status men are ones who pay attention to details, which you have to do if you want to keep things clean and well kept. And like their car and their house, high status men tend to have a well kept physique, but more importantly, a well kept mind. And this is a trait that sets them apart from most people. An unclean physique, car, or anything else that is associated with you signals to other people that you most likely have a lot of laziness and disorder going on in your life. Now next up at number three is something that you definitely don't want to miss and it is easily one of the most important traits of high status men. Now most people when thinking of a man with status or class associate confidence with them and this is definitely something that they tend to have in abundance. All the time you hear people tell you just be confident just be confident and everything will work out and while there is some truth to this it's not always that simple although confidence is technically like a real life superpower because it can allow you to obtain pretty much anything that you want it also tends to behave like one meaning oftentimes it is fleeting which simply means that it comes and goes the thing about confidence is that it's based on experience and results so to build confidence you have to do something that you're not confident doing Get good results doing that or feedback and then repeat this process over and over again until you feel confident doing that particular thing. So in other words, confidence, like a superpower, ebbs and flows. So it's really great when you have it, but it's completely useless when you don't have it. And most importantly, it doesn't stick with you at all times. 
There's nobody on this planet who is confident every single second of every single day because that's just not the way that it works. And this is where the third trait of high class men comes in and it's called security. When men are feeling secure, we feel safe, stable, and free from fear or anxiety. The polar opposite of being secure is being insecure, which means your composure or your frame of mind is liable to give way or break at any time. Put simply, insecure men have a weak mind. Men who are secure have a strong mind and give off a warm, welcoming vibe. So you're probably asking yourself, how does one become secure? And the answer is vulnerability. One of the great things about high status men is that they are comfortable in their own skin, but the most important thing here is that they don't wear a mask and they don't try to compensate for their flaws. Many of the insecure men out there feel like they're not masculine enough. So what happens is they end up acting overly rude or aggressive in an attempt to compensate for this insecurity rather than just being vulnerable and comfortable in their own skin. Now the most important thing that you can do to go from insecure to having a strong, secure frame of mind is simply to avoid trying to compensate for your insecurities. If you have an issue with not feeling masculine when around men who are naturally more masculine than you, don't go and act overly aggressive or do other things to try to compensate for what you feel you are lacking while around these men. Just learn how to be comfortable in your own skin. Now next up is the fourth trait that you will only find with high class men and it involves one of the biggest mistakes that men make all the time. In fact, I would guess that almost every man on the planet will make this mistake at some point in their lives. Now some men will learn from it and unfortunately others will not. And I myself personally have actually made this mistake quite a few times because it is so easy to do. How many of us feel absolutely incredible when we go out and we get a new pair of shoes or clothes? That's pretty much going to be all of you watching and most people in general. Because getting these things makes us feel really good when we get approval or recognition from other people because of our new clothes, shoes, or even a sports car, or whatever other external thing that we just bought. And whether we realize it or not, these feelings are just as addictive as actual drugs because it's scientifically proven that our brains release dopamine, a chemical that makes us feel high and on top of the world whenever we get approval or recognition from other people. All of these external things that we buy increase our self-esteem and they make us feel better about ourselves temporarily. But guess what happens when the new clothes become old and the shoes get scuffed and dirty? Guess what happens when we don't have the nice sports car anymore or other external things that cause people to give us all the approval and recognition that made us feel so good? What happens is that our self-esteem goes with these things. So the fourth trait of high status men is internal self-esteem, meaning self-esteem that isn't built on external factors that come and go. Now I'm not saying that you can just magically not care about external factors and results because that's impossible and these things are important. But what you can do is make sure that your little self-esteem scale inside of you is always tipped in favor of internal things rather than external influences. And one of the best ways to know that you're on the right path is when you feel just as valuable or worthy as a person when you don't have the fancy clothes, the sports cars, or the other external things that bring great approval from other people as when you do. Basically, just make sure that whatever makes you feel valuable is coming more from internal things that you have like integrity, work ethic, and values rather than new shoes and fancy cars. Now next up is the fifth trait that you will find in many guys who have what you might call high class or high status, and it is yet another different way of thinking. In life, at any given time, there are two different mindsets that you can have. On one hand, you have what is called a fixed mindset, and on the other, you have what is called a growth mindset. People who have a fixed mindset believe that they are whoever they are born as and that there is nothing that they can do about it. And a fixed mindset is like a box, but for your mind. Nothing gets in and nothing gets out. Men with a fixed mindset believe for pretty much everything that it is what it is and there is no way to change the outcome. Now here's the difference. Men who are the outliers or those with status or those with class have a different type of mindset and it's one of growth. And with a growth mindset, you believe that there is always room to learn and always more room to grow. Guys who have a growth or open mind are always curious and fun to be around because rather than assuming that they know it all, they are always open to learning and improving. And this is especially true when it comes to themselves. Now next up is the sixth trait and it involves something called boundaries. In life, all of us at some point will be treated unfairly. That's a fact. In many cases, this will happen at a restaurant or will involve a similar situation involving a business or when we're out buying something. But it also happens during situations with friends, families, and people that we don't know. Usually what happens is that we develop boundaries naturally as we get older, but it's much better to have them now while we're young than when we get too old to really care about it. Now, one of the biggest differences that you will ever find between men who act with class and men who don't is enforcing personal boundaries. All men are different and we all have different boundaries set for ourselves. 
Some of us will speak up for ourselves if we order our food and it's 10 minutes late, but some of us won't say anything until the food is 11, 12, 15, or 20 minutes late. And unfortunately, some of us won't say anything at all, even if the food is 20 hours late. When I used to work at a gas station, I had an assistant manager who I could tell didn't like me for whatever reason. And since I worked a graveyard shift, I had to wait for this guy to come into the store at 6 o'clock in the morning to count the money every single day before I could leave. So I had no way to get off of work and leave until he got there and we counted the money together, even if I had to stay 30 or 45 minutes after my shift ended. And out of nowhere, one day he started calling the store 20 minutes after I was supposed to be off of work to tell me that he overslept and that he was on his way. And the first couple of times that this happened, I just kind of let it go because I always try to have patience with people rather than overreacting. But then he kept doing it and I eventually found out that I wasn't getting paid for the time that I was there past my shift. And at that point, I decided that it was time to enforce my boundaries. And once I did this, he never showed up late again. Problem is that most guys do not want to do this because nobody wants to call out their assistant manager who is basically their boss or anybody else that is close to them or even strangers. But we all have boundaries and when somebody crosses them, we must stand up for ourselves. Because if we don't, most likely nobody else is going to. Knowing your boundaries with people and enforcing them without shame or guilt is one of the most attractive traits that you can have as a man with class or status. This has been six traits that are only found in men with class or men with status. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.